defense cost Catrice. I don't know how to say the last name. Can you give me the spelling that you have? Uh, B A B I A S Z. It's Babias. What's your last name? Babias. Babias. All right. Thank you. You are at the witness stand. Would you please raise your right hand? Catrice Babias. K A T R I C E B A B I A S Z. Thank you. My apologies for mispronouncing that earlier. Go ahead, your witness. Uh, good afternoon, Miss Babias. Correct. I'm surprised I got it right. Uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I am a law enforcement dispatch supervisor. And <laughs> how long have you been doing that now? I've been in law enforcement for 16 years. The evening of November 21st, 2021, um, were you were you on duty that evening? I was not. Uh, where were you doing that evening? I was attending the Waukesha Christmas Parade with my family. And do you recall what time you arrived there with your with your family that that evening? I arrived to the parade shortly after it started, so it was right after four p.m. And do you recall where you were positioned at with your family? Uh, when you arrived at the parade that evening? Yes. And where were you positioned at? Um, I was um, towards the beginning of the parade. I was on Main Street um, where it connects with White Rock Avenue. Did anything catch your eye that evening when you were positioned uh, watching the parade with your family? Yes. What did you see? I saw a um, red SUV um, coming from White Rock Avenue. Um, the vehicle caught my attention because um, people started yelling and um, the vehicle, the driver was honking the horn. <clears throat> and do you recall to the best to the best of your knowledge it's been a little bit um the driver of the vehicle you observed was honking his horn was it gesturing to people uh yes and uh what, what do you see what did you see the the gesturing as i'm sorry i don't understand the question um what was the gesturing what was the driver gesturing yes um, I'm sorry. I'm... It's okay. Uh, so he was taking his hand and going like this, really rapidly, aggressively. We, so we... for the record, the witness had her right hand up above, probably at a, above her, uh, I wouldn't say at a 90 degree angle, but somewhere maybe at a 45 degree angle with her hand waving back and forth, back and forth multiple times in a rapid motion. Go ahead. You yourself being in law enforcement and just and just based on what you were observing, the driver of the vehicle you observed was honking his horn and gesturing with this motion. Would you take that motion as trying to alert people to move out of the way? Um, Grounds. Sustain us to the form of the question. Please rephrase. How, how, how did you yourself take that gesture? I took that gesturing as the driver was telling people to get out of his way. Do you, let me back up. Did the vehicle pass pretty close to where you were positioned? Yes, the vehicle almost struck my daughter. Do you recall seeing the driver? I looked the driver right in the eyes. And how did the driver look? The driver looked like through me. What do you mean through you? D describe what you mean by through you. I feel that it is very hard to explain that look. 
Um, but it was very frightening. Do you recall what the driver was wearing? The driver had a like hoodie sweatshirt or sweatshirt on um, and something on his head. I wasn't sure if it was the hood of the sweater or maybe a beanie hat. It was winter. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Were you able to see any hair? I did see hair, yes. How would you describe the hair? Um, the hair on the head was in front, like dreads down here from what I could see underneath the hood or the hat. Um, and then there was facial hair, beard and mustache. Did, did the well, vehicle... Hold on, I just need to make a record of, um, she was also using her hands, that's okay, um, to uh, indicate uh, at the neck, like under the chin, <coughs> neck area, with her hands coming down a few inches to indicate what she was describing as hair uh, being seen from um, the driver. Uh, thank you. Go ahead, sir. When you observed the vehicle approaching, was the vehicle speeding? When the vehicle was approaching from White Rock, the vehicle was not speeding at that time. To the best of your knowledge, do you recall there uh, being any barriers present where, where you were positioned at? Yes. Do you recall if the vehicle you observed had any tinted windows? I do not recall. Were you able to make out a license plate number of the vehicle being that it had passed so closely by you? No, once the vehicle continued past my position, I was more concerned about my children that were with me. <clears throat> I'm assuming at some point you spoke with the law enforcement about what you saw that evening. Would that be fair to say? Yes. And do you do you recall what agency that was? I do. And what agency was that? The FBI. At what point were you not able to see the SUV once it passed you? Um, I lost sight of the SUV once it went into a bunch of people. Do you recall what date uh, it was that you spoke with the FBI agents on? Was that the same evening or a few days after? It was not the same evening of the parade, um, but it was that week. It was within the next few days.
the day you spoke with uh, FBI agents, do you recall stating the driver was wearing a red top that appeared to be made out of a sweatshirt-like material? I don't recall exactly what was said um, to the agent, um, but I do remember the sweatshirt, yes. A red sweatshirt? It's possible. <clears throat> Just a little bit ago, you said that well, when asked the question of did you recall here for the driver, you stated and made the gesture that the hair was in front. Do you recall saying it? Yes, sir. Do you recall when speaking with FBI agents stating that the hair was pulled back? The hair appeared to be like possibly in a ponytail, but there was, it was so full that it was coming forward. Do you recall, uh, well, let me back up. Did you, did you leave the parade at that point? <coughs> at what point? After seeing the vehicle. Yes. Were you injured the evening of the uh, incident? Yes. You were injured? Yes, I was. Any reason why that's not reported? Probably because I didn't tell anyone else. If you were injured, why not tell anyone? Because I haven't wanted to talk about the traumatic experience that I went through for still reliving um, the weeks and days after the incident. It doesn't make any sense. You talk to FBI agents a few days where you you said you didn't, to be fair, you said you didn't know, you said it was that week is, is what you said, the same week. You spoke with FBI agents reporting injuries. They didn't ask me about injuries. Well, you would, would it be fair to say that that kind of information would come up when talking to Law enforcement, seeing as how you yourself work in law enforcement, it just seems odd, don't you think? I do not. Um, I was not physically injured. Oh. But you didn't report this at any time whatsoever. That's the answer to the question. Grounds. Sustained. Already answered. So did you speak to anyone about this in law enforcement? Objection Bay. Grounds. Um, overruled. She may answer. He clarified law enforcement. Did he speak did she speak to anyone about this in law enforcement? I interpreted this as the injury. Right. So go ahead. I feel like, no, I did not. <clears throat> did you file any claims related to the incident? No, I did not.
So it was today, your first time uh, bringing up your. No, it is not. At some point, you were uh, subpoenaed by the district attorney's office to testify here to, well, to testify in this trial. Would that be fair to say? Yes, it is. Do you recall when you received that uh, subpoena? Um, from the district attorney's office, it was in July. And do you recall whom you spoke with about uh, the information regarding the subpoena? I contacted the victim witness advocate on um, Carrie Peterson. You contacted the Miss Peterson after receiving the subpoena. Correct it. The instructions told me to. You ever spoke with anyone directly at the district attorney's office? No. I, the correction. Yes, when I walked in today, I met there and let them know I was here, and then they walked me into a room and I waited until I was called by you. <coughs> you. So before today, you had uh, no interactions with anyone related to the district attorney's office besides the, I think you said, victim advocate? So the victim advocates who have been in connection with and letting me know when to come and all of that. Of the three district attorneys uh, seated to my left at this table, had you had any interactions uh, uh, of any kind with any of those three district attorneys? I have not. And I believe just for the record, when you asked that attorney Basie was just pointing to herself and the two people next to her so it's clear because there's, since there's two tables. What would be the reason for that? Since there's two tables of individuals, I think she wanted to make the witness aware. And I just wanted to point it out for the record since it happened. Hmm. Working in law enforcement for 16 years, I'm sure this isn't your first time being involved in a trial. Would that be fair to say? I have not been in a trial for law enforcement. No, I have not. You've, you've never... witnessed a trial, sat at a trial, been in a trial? I have not. Have you ever testified in any uh, in any way before today? Rounds. Um, overall, you may answer. I have testified before, yes. So it would be fair to say that you would have knowledge of where an alleged defendant in the district attorney would sit in a courtroom, correct? I know where they're sitting, yes. up a little bit to the observation of the vehicle the evening of November 21st, 2021. While the while you observed the vehicle approaching your position, did you see it strike anyone? I did not see the vehicle strike anyone, no.
from your opinion, observing the vehicle approaching your position, did it appear that the ve the vehicle attempted to strike anyone? Yes. And why would you come to that conclusion? Because I saw an officer have to jump out of the way in order for the when it was approaching. When it was, a, was, when it was approaching. I'm confused. Hold on, hold on, hold on, everyone. The question was asked. This witness is going to be allowed to answer the question fully without interruption. Go ahead and answer the question. Thank you. Um, I misunderstood him's question, I guess. No, um, answer the question okay. that as you understood it. Yep. So I saw that um, an officer had to get out of the way, um, and he was attempting to stop Mr. Brooks from um, driving through the parade, and he was um, at the last minute jumped out of the way from uh, the vehicle, otherwise he would have been you just used the name Mr. Brooks for the first time that you've been testifying. Would that be fair to say? I don't understand your question. You just used the name Mr. Brooks for the first time since you've been testifying. Is that fair to say? That's fair to say, yes. Why haven't you used that name before? You've been up there for quite some time. It, I didn't need to. So what changed for the last question that you needed to? I don't understand your question. You just stated that you didn't mention the name before because you didn't need to. So what about the last question that you answered made you feel like you needed to use the name for that question and no question before that? I don't know. Out of curiosity, how did you come to the knowledge of that name? It was on the subpoena I received last week. <clears throat> you just stated a little bit earlier in your testimony that you received your subpoena in July. Now you said last week. Those are both correct. So you received two separate subpoenas? Correct. What was the difference between the two? One was from the district attorney's office and one was from you. <coughs> so the one that you received from the district attorney's office in July didn't have a, a case caption on it? A case, what's a case caption? Just one second. One second, Your Honor. Your Honor, I just have to ask a question. I really don't know what the relevance is for the purposes of this there, trial. There was no objection at first. But there is now. <laughs> I'm going to sustain the objection under 906.11. I don't believe it advances. I think I the trial. I think you know where I was getting at with the question. Then you need to ask your question directly, sir. Go ahead. But I'm sustaining it as to the form of the question. When you were subpoenaed in July by the district attorney's office. The subpoena didn't contain information to the case you were being subpoenaed for? Objection to relevance. Grounds? Sustained. You don't have to answer that. Um, I sustained the objection on that. those grounds. Ask the question, I believe, that you're trying to ask, not that one. 
was the name that you mentioned, Mr. Brooks, anywhere on the subpoena that you received from the district attorney's office in July? Objection. Relevance. Grounds. Oh, sustained. Grounds for the sustained. That Not was the relevant. Name. What? <sighs> Mind boggling. Sir, in July, when you received your subpoena from the district attorney's office, were you even aware of what you were being subpoenaed for? Objection, relevance. Grounds? Sustained. Not relevant. She's testifying in the trial and it's not relevant that she got subpoenaed? Mr. Brooks, she's here under your subpoena. What? The, you called her as a witness. The, it's the subpoena, subpoena that you, the subpoena... This is, is relevant because Mr. she was Brooks, already subpoenaed. Mr. Brooks, under 11, please ask the witness a this relevant and probative question. This is mine, by the way. Mine, by the way. Remind the jury that the statements of the parties or the attorneys are not yeah, evidence. Yeah, These are not yeah, evidence. Yeah, So were you aware that it was a chance you would be possibly testifying in this trial? Yes. And did you know who the trial was for? Objection. Grounds. Sustained. Grounds for sustained. It's not relevant. I've never heard of nobody testifying in a trial that they didn't know who the trial was for. Mr. I Brooks, think that's, I think I'm that's sustaining very the objection under 906.11, and I'm asking you to move on. Y'all, this ridiculous, man. <coughs> Seems to me like a, <coughs> like a lot of your uh, answers are coached. Is that fair to say? No. <laughs> so the subpoena that you got last week, <clears throat> is that how you learned the name that you used? Objection. Relevant Grounds. For the same reason I argued before. Grounds. Asked and answered. She's indicated the answer already. 90611, sir. Next question. The question Different was topic. Is that the first time that she saw the name? It's not relevant. Yeah, that Next was question. not asked and answered. That was nor, not asked nor answered. Under 90611, please ask a question, sir. Man, what is y'all people trying to pull up, man? This is, this is ridiculous. Mr. Brooks, if you don't ask another question that's relevant and probative under 90611, then I will turn the witness over to the state for their cross examination. And then I should be able to uh, get redirect, right? Your Honor? Ask a question, or I will declare the examination by you to be it's, ended. It's not, it's not an examination, it's direct. It's a direct examination, sir. Under 90611, you are directed to ask a question, or I will I ask the state you, if they have any you, questions. I heard you, I heard you, I heard you. Thank you. Next question, please. You know who the plaintiff is in this matter? Yes. Who's the plaintiff? The state of Wisconsin. Is that an entity or a living human being? Objection. Grounds. Relevant. Not relevant. Sustained. Next question. Have you ever had any interaction with the plaintiff? Objection. Vague. Sustained. Vague. As to the form of the question. Have you ever had any interaction with the state of Wisconsin? Do Objection. not answer that question. Next question, sir. Under 90611. Was there an objection or was that just a ruling? I'm not sure. You're both was talking at the same time. 
Under 90611, I directed the witness not to answer that irrelevant question. Ask your next question, sir. Mr. Brooks, ask your next question. I'm going to get to it. Thank you. So when did you first report your alleged injury? You do not have to answer that question. Next question, sir. Grounds for? 90611, sub 1, sub A, sub B, and sub C. Is that lawful law? All right. Um, you may sit down. Does the state have any questions for this witness? first of last year you were there with two kids I was yes what were their ages on that date um, objection three and overrule the witness may answer of course it's gonna be overruled. <laughs> three and six 